at everything that is going on and look at the changes that are coming into effect. Do you think you still want to apply to come to Canada in 2025? I don't know. The choice is yours. Can I be your star tonight? You fill my soul with light the day we met. Hi guys, it's Minan Harry here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? I hope your day is going on well. All right, guys. So today I want to talk about a very, very interesting topic. Um, so actually in this video, I'm going to be talking about like four major um you know changes or topic concerning canada immigration um in this one video so what i advise you to do is to please watch to the end of this video right so that you can get like the full information and in case you want to leave your comment you know watch to the end of the video then go ahead to leave your comments all right guys so i believe most of us by now uh, must have heard about like you know the different news going on you know uh, concerning canada immigration recently like this week so this week about like you know different changes um concerning canada, canada immigration um different news um also um international students protesting you know concerning their postgraduate work permit anyways let me start from the first one right the first updates that came up this week so uh, the prime minister of canada uh, which is uh, justin trudeau announced that um canada would no more be needing um foreign workers exception for um health care um, and construction basically what they're just trying to say is there will no more be um like there will not be any need for foreign workers so let's say for example i'm a farmer or i have a farm and usually i bring my workers from abroad like outside of canada so according to the prime minister that is going to stop right so we according to him said he wants us to or he wants you know the employers to use those that are already in canada i'm going to play this clip for you so that you know you can hear from the prime minister himself need as many temporary foreign workers we need canadian businesses to invest in training and technology and not increasing their reliance on low-cost foreign labor it's not fair to canadians struggling to find a good job and it's not fair to those temporary foreign workers some of whom are being mistreated and exploited so i asked my minister to work on this over the summer and we are taking action we are tightening the rules and restricting eligibility to reduce the number of low-wage temporary foreign workers in Canada, with exceptions in certain industries like healthcare, construction, and food security. All right, welcome back, guys. So, so basically, that was what he said, like what I explained before, um, showing you all the video. And also, additionally, just for you all to know, so for those that maybe if you have if you are maybe working with an agency or an agent that will tell you oh I'm, i can work um, or i can do a work visa for you for you to come to canada to work as a foreign visa this is an s up for you just to let you know because now any province that has six percent of unemployment they are not allowed to employ anybody so if you are doing that you are doing it at your own risk because you will not get the visa all right except maybe the agent or you're trying to apply for something like that in provinces that have less than six percent of unemployment so for if you are doing that just cancel ontario cancel bc out of your your plan all right you can check other provinces that you know that okay um their unemployment rate is you know at least it's not um up to six percent okay so that is for the first one and the second one we have not even finished digesting this um foreign worker everything i saw this post from the premier of um Mon uh, quebec right so he mentioned that it's just like you know when i thought i was shocked up like I, do, I don't understand are these people attacking immigration the immigration system is for attacking immigrants or what's going on so the premier of um quebec said if the three hundred thousand non-permanent residents are outside like if they are not currently in quebec there will not be home crisis like there will not be any issue of oh there is no maybe housing and there will not be issue of housing crisis maybe oh there is nowhere to stay or i've been looking for to get a place so <laughs> i don't understand when i say i'm like come correct like come direct i don't know in to me i feel personally it's just like indirectly saying 
this 300,000 non um, permanent resident, we don't need you, or you know, go out of Quebec or maybe go out of Canada. So, our citizens or permanent residents will be able to get a place to stay. I don't know, but what do you think? Because this is it. I feel that's what he's trying to say indirectly. Like, if it's your first time here, please do not forget to click on your subscribe button to join our beautiful growing family. And for my returning subscribers, I thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. Please, everybody, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. All right, guys, please help me to share this video. Not only that, then there was uh, a protest in Winnipeg. International students are, are coming out to protest that the um government of canada should change the policy so at first or before now it wasn't so like the postgraduate work permit i believe uh because postgraduate work permit they're giving them three years canada is even giving them three years us is like two years um but yeah but i believe if let's say for example the three years is coming to an end you've not been able to become a permanent resident right i believe there's a way you can actually extend it extend your postgraduate work permit but right now they are canceling all of that. So if your three years is over and you are still, um, let's say, under your work permit, you are no more legal. So let's say after your school, because after schooling, right, you'll be working with your postgraduate work permit. So after that three years now, if you are not able to change your status, you have to leave. That means you'll be facing, the, either if you don't leave, you'll be facing deportation, like you'll be forced or asked to leave right um so now the students are coming out you can see this video so just to let you know because if you look at a video you see that okay it's only indians but this is going to affect both nigerians both other people like maybe Ghanaians, other people from you know as long as they are international students their status here is they have like their status here is um as a student right so if they exclude that three years they will not be able to apply to, um, you know, um, extend their stay here in Canada. That means they are going to leave. I'm going to play the videos for you so you can actually hear what these people are saying. Don't blame us. Fix your system. Fix your system. Fix your system. Fix your system. Don't blame us. So they are saying this is not what you promised us we don't want to go because initially it wasn't so these people were already here when they decided to make all these immigration changes if they were here before they made the changes it does not matter but it's still gonna affect them all right guys so that is that for that for visitors so another changes for visitors um for those that will be coming in or have their visitors uh, visa so from um june from august 28th visitors um will not be allowed to apply for work permit so this was actually temporary um it was supposed to end in february 2025 but they decided to stop it now so those with visitors visa you are not allowed to apply for work or work permits when you are inside canada so you can actually do that outside to see if you'll be able to get or well, right now I'm, i don't think <laughs> that'll be possible right because of the um shortage or the limitation of uh, foreign workers right so i'm not sure that'll be maybe 100 percent possible anymore but if you are a visitor here and um you want to apply after august 28th that will not be possible because it has been crashed out all right and finally i saw this hey <laughs> god you know what students are also protesting international are protesting that they failed them well, I was thinking, why would they be protesting that they failed them? Because, like, I didn't really get enough information concerning this. But I don't know. I'm just assuming maybe they are protesting because they don't have enough time to study because of, um, you know, their lack of not getting a job. Maybe when they finally got a job, they gave it their all just to make sure, okay, they 
earn money. I don't know. I don't know the reason why they are protesting that they failed them. Is he, are they trying to say that if they failed them purposely? May, probably, maybe. I don't know, but this is the first time I'm seeing and hearing something like this. That international students, that students at all, like will protest that, that they failed them. Is it that they know that, oh, they were supposed to pass, like they knew what they wrote down and everything, and they, they, are, they are protesting because they feel the lecturers or the professors failed them int intentionally? I'm not sure, but this is as in, I, I was shocked when I saw this because it is really, really surprising to me. Um, I don't really know why um, international students, in short, eh, at this time, eh, I would say Canada has broken has broken record because this is what I would call immigration crisis. Immigration, if they are going to give our award, I believe Canada will take that award because with different things first of all it was student cap um international student under postgrad undergraduate students coming in with their partner their partners will not be able to work secondly so they said um the, the the hours they have to they first of all reduce it later they gave them okay 24 hours now you can now work you know different changes coming in even the i don't know but i feel like as a student that is still outside Canada, do you think you still want to apply to come to Canada in 2025? Because I believe a lot of changes will still be coming. Change, first of all, for you to know, is a constant thing. That is fine, right? So I feel a lot of changes will be coming, like a lot of immigration changes, different policies will be coming to effect. And to remind you all, next year there will be an election. So you never can tell. There might be change of um, power as well. Right, so I'm not. I'm just saying they might, right? Because I know uh, politics, religious, and sports matter is on a right level. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to go close to you know that area at all. But I'm just saying they might. And if there is a new government, there might also be more changes coming in. So what do you think? Do you want to risk it for international? For those that will be coming in as international then if you know that okay, you want to come, just study, you know. And like, you know, just study for like, your time and go back to your country. That is fine. You know, that is fine. If you know that, okay, you don't have it in mind to stay after school. Yes, you can actually do that. But if you know that you have it in mind that after schooling, you want to, you know, stay back, maybe um, settle down here. My dear, just wait. Wait for everything to calm down. Wait if, to see if, because right now you, you cannot. Let me not say you cannot because there are some people, maybe singles, before the end of your, even before the end of your studies, you might see somebody that you fall in love with, like the, your better half, right? And you get married and maybe your better half is a citizen or, or, or a permanent resident. You will get married and the person can file for you. Or let's say before your postgraduate work permit expires, your employer that you're working with might, you know, will be able to file for you or something. So it's it's possible, but just like you, um, it's just like 50-50. What if it's not, what if that is not your story? What if it doesn't work for you that way? That means you'll be asked to leave by the end of your um, work time or by the end when your postgraduate work permit will expire you'll be asked to leave so do you want that if you know you don't want that what i advise you to do is face another way right face another way if you know that okay canada is the place that is a most place for you you can go to other countries first you can go to study other countries then maybe later you apply from that country that you are not you know you apply from there and you know come in and you know that okay at least you have more knowledge about um, travel. You have more knowledge about being an immigrant, you know, in a foreign country. Then, you know, you can weigh your options. If not, I will advise you, think twice before you start applying for that uh, uh, or applying to that school. Because, you know, the school, they will still charge you. Like, you still have to pay for acceptance fee. And when you ever apply for visa, you'll be asked to pay for visa. Fee. Then at the end of the day, you might not even get the visa. Or when you will come here, you know, to get a job is something else. And I just remember something because I saw some comments when somebody was like, oh, I'll be resuming in September, which is like few days away from today now. Like I'll be resuming in September and I've not gotten my visa. What will I do? My dear, if you are in that table and you're watching this video, just better call your school to defer your admission. If not, you will lose this admission and maybe your visa or something. So when you defer your admission, you know you have enough time to wait for your visa approval. All right. So when you have been approved, then you know that, okay, you can start school 
either the next section or maybe next um fall you know if not summer maybe next fall at least you know you have enough time for because now they are not saying there's backlog so there's backlog for about how many thousand right so you don't even know when they're going to answer you so if you're in that table and you're seeing this better do that take my advice and go and uh, ask your school to defer your admission to move it further all right and guys in conclusion i will not even blame the canada government because as it is right now it is not really easy inflation is everywhere so not that only inflation you know what okay what happened i think i've already explained it here before so the intake of immigrants it was too like too much it was too much just like you carrying a load on your head and when it's too heavy you start feeling the pain on your neck is it that you drop is that you drop everything or you take out some from the load you're carrying so that you'll be able to you know feel stable and you'll be able to carry the load so that is what is going on right now so they are trying to see how to filter immigrants like okay make them go back and so that even if the because the it's affecting the economy i will not over like it's affecting the economy that's why you hear oh there's no job in canada and i believe some people were thinking that okay maybe that's what i want to say i've said that before i made a video last year that do not come to canada in 2024 and i actually outlined those things and the reason for that is for you to know okay for those coming to canada this is what is going on like for you to have that mindset in case you are maybe raising your hopes i just be aware that okay this is what is happening currently and you know what to expect like i saw somebody that just came i believe she's yeah eight months now and she was like ha ah, they didn't the people that are, that are doing content in canada like they're actually lying or something i was like didn't you see my video because here i don't lie i say it as it is because it's what is actually happening that i'm saying but i don't i don't i make sure i don't sugarcoat so it depends on how you want to take it so that in that video i got a lot of negative comments which is fine your opinion matters as well just as my opinion so it is okay i got a lot of ne negative comments but there were people that actually understood and actually i got good comments from them as well so just like this video i know some people might actually take it the other way why some we actually reason you know comprehend like put everything together and you know reason with me and say okay i think i know where you're coming from and those that actually you know understand might take this as a good advice so like i was saying no jobs it's not even messing no jobs so that person that i said came in it was recently she got a job <laughs> mama was even telling me like there's this person next month to make it a year just got a job the way it was happy for you to know like the thing was even causing causing quarrel between the man and the wife because the man came in like almost a year ago and he has not gotten a job so i believe you know that anger as a man you are not working you know so things like that so now the government they are trying to see they are trying to see how they can actually make the economy stable you know like revive it back because usually canada was not really like this before i keep on saying it but people would be like canada was not like this before covid so all these things after uh, happened after covid so after covid the people coming in it was really too much like post uh, uh covid the way they say it so yeah so that's why they're trying to do this so i really really don't blame them they are only trying to see how to balance everything that is going on how to balance the economy how to make canada you know revive the economy again so that's why they are doing all of this if it was you won't you do something even more you know housing no housing crisis so so many things and again, that was why that um, Prime of uh, Quebec also made that statement that if the, the 300,000 um, non-permanent residents, if they were not in Quebec, that there will not be a housing crisis. Because of, you know, the too much immigration. Okay, there's this landlord that actually advertised for a bed space for $550 per month. Guys, can you imagine? $550 per month for, for bed space, not, no, not for a room because then before you can have okay three bedrooms and rent it out to like different people so that's oh i have a flatmate this one a basement five beds so the person was advertising for one bed for 550 dollars per month so show you how bad it is and see eh? <laughs> that place eh? They will rush it because people are actually looking for where to stay. International students, especially, they're looking for where to stay. People will rush it for you to know how bad it is. So why would the government do that? I'm saying they might. They're more, I believe, more changes are even coming because they want to do 
they want to try to, to stabilize the economy. Inflation is everywhere in the whole world, right? But well, Canada's own, eh, both the inflation, it affected everything. The economy, everything is down. Anyways, this is just my, you know, piece of advice, especially for those that are still outside, like international students. Look at everything that is going on and look at the changes that are coming into effect. Do you think you still want to apply to come to Canada in 2025? I don't know. The choice is yours. After you've listened to this information, do with it whatever you will. But all the same, I wish you all all the best. If it's your first time here, please do not forget to click on your subscribe button to join our beautiful growing family. And for my returning subscribers, I thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. Please, everybody, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. All right, guys, please help me to share this video for those that might need information. Okay, guys, so that will be it for today. And before I go, do you like my glasses? <laughs> These glasses, I got it from Femo. So there is a link in my bio, and also I'll leave it in the description box and the promotion code whereby after you purchase from them when you use the code you get 50 percent off all right guys you are welcome okay bye for now i'll see you all in my next video stay safe bye